Hey everyone, Dan with Mac Rumors, and in this video, we're gonna take a look at a product that can turn your iPad into a monitor for your Mac. The Luna Display is from the company behind the popular iPad app, AstroPad, and with this tiny little USB-C adapter, you can go ahead and plug this guy into any Mac with a USB-C port, and then use your iPad as an external monitor. So for those of you who are on the go with your MacBook Air and you need a secondary display or you're docked at your desktop with an iMac, or you even want to use this as a primary display with something like the new Mac mini, the Luna display can do it all. So how it works is very simple. As I mentioned earlier, the Luna display is a simple USB type C adapter that plugs straight into the back of your Mac and then download the corresponding applications for both your Mac and your iPad. Follow a few simple on-screen instructions and boom, you'll be set up and ready to use your iPad Pro as a secondary monitor. Or if you want to get really crazy, you can make it your primary option for something like a Mac Mini. I would say that an ideal use case for this would be something more like a secondary monitor for a better workflow, which is how I have been enjoying the Luna Display. Performance really depends on Wi-Fi connection, since the iPad and adapter are communicating over Wi-Fi, but if you have a strong connection, you'll notice that there's almost zero lag between your computer and your iPad. Another awesome feature is that if you have the keyboard case and Apple Pencil for your iPad, these two accessories also work flawlessly. I've been able to use a full desktop version of Safari, Photoshop, and even Final Cut Pro on my iPad, and I have rarely noticed any hiccups. For those of you wondering, you can also use external keyboards or mice that you might use with your Mac, but I found that being able to be mobile throughout my home or office, using the Apple Pencil with something on Final Cut Pro, navigating through my timeline or dragging around clips, or just touching the display with my fingers has been a great experience. Since you run Luna Display off of an iPad application, you can get back to iOS really, really easily. Simply just swipe up like you would to go home and you're back into iOS and you can use your full array of iPad apps and then just go back into the Luna Display app and you're back into Mac OS. Navigating between these two operating systems is also flawless. The Luna Display is available for $79 and it does come in this USB-C version as well as a DisplayPort version too. For those of you who have been waiting to see Mac OS on an iPad, this is almost it. But more importantly, if you need a secondary monitor and you have an iPad available, you can save yourself loads of money by just using Luna Display and extending your workflow to your iPad. Let us know your thoughts on the Luna Display in the comment section down below and be sure to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss more videos like this one in the future. This has been Dan with Mac Rumors. Thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next one.